Uh, command fastball and uh, curveball, I thought was more of a, um, a factor. It's one of the things Roger kind of talked to him about. It's not like he's throwing every pitch, but especially with the left-handed hitters in the lineup, they're five of them 90. You know, it's a big pitch for guys to defend himself with something like that. He had a lot of pitches working for him. I was really impressed that there's little things you look at, like after giving up the home run to Moreland, he comes right back and gets the next guy out, doesn't walk. How many times you see people get fearful of the barrel and get out of the zone after that? Um, also, you know, Ramirez hit a couple home runs off of him last time, and that's the thing you like about Ash. He's, he's not, he ain't scared. You know, he got right back in the fight and uh, did a big job for us tonight. Probably threw him about four or five more pitches than I wanted to, but he got into that seventh. Do you like having a guy that no walks? Oh, yeah. No, I, I can't stand it. I just. <laughs> no, that's not be a smart aleck. That's, I, I tell you, now that we're talking about the last two nights with the lack of walks, so we're going to have, what, 15 or more? So, no, it's, it's, it's a big factor, especially in the American League and with the, the power. you got to really make guys, you know, if you don't walk anybody and you catch a baseball, more times than not, you look at that error column and there's not many walks, you're in, in that ball game. Kind of alluded to it, you know, two questions ago. But I mean, this is a guy. Obviously, every assignment is going to be difficult. But I mean, he's you know he's faced Chris Sale and and Porcello. He's faced you know Estrada going against Estrada and, and some really good offenses in Houston and, and Toronto and Boston. Composure wise, did you know that you had a shot at getting no, him? Okay. no, I can know. But you know, you're around him. You keep you know we live in a world where we're all looking for dents in the armor. What does somebody know that we don't know? And this and that, whatever. And, you know, he's, this guy's not 30 years old. He's one of our younger guys on the staff. And uh, I just like his demeanor. And you know, he's got a little, you know, what in the giddy up. And uh, he likes competing. He can, he's a watcher. He watches game. You know, he, uh, he can, he's very approachable about anything. You know, he's got an opinion, but he doesn't have all the answers. It's, it's been a, you know, he's, hey, I want you in the bullpen tonight. I'll be ready. Through two innings, hey, I'm good tomorrow. You know, it's. And it's not some fault stuff of, hey, I don't want to be sent out. I got it. But that part of it's been impressive. That part of it's been impressive. And then, you know, when you, and I've said many times, you got a good delivery, you got a chance to repeat pitches. And uh, Ash has got a good delivery. Boston's uh, MO has been to jump out or take a lead early. And then uh, you guys, two runs in the first inning. Uh, you know, how important is that to, first of all, take the lead and then, you know, for Asher's sake as well. Well, you know, a guy like Porcello and a guy like last night and a guy like tomorrow and a guy like the next day, you know, if you, you got a little pop at them early maybe and you better take advantage of it because they're going to settle in. I mean, you look at 30 pitches in the first inning and, and that's the difference. He's out there and pitches the sixth inning. You know, that, that's what I take out of watching, you know, the really top shelf starters, what they do. You know, it looks like that might be a two or three or four or five inning outing, but – you know, but you got to do that against those guys. You, you better take your pops where you can. And when you squander a good run scoring opportunity off those guys early, it usually doesn't bode well for you. You impressed the last few nights of the Christmas of the club and, and, all, the and, all, the facets, and all the facets. Yeah, I, I, that's a good point. I think I, it's the weather a little bit. I mean, two last two days are what, you know, Baltimore and playing here and I think there's a lot. It, it's finally we kind of settled into a set schedule, and you know we were due to start playing a little crisper. Um, you know that's why it's important that you know them and their teammates and their coaching staff don't don't start changing the way they act or treat people or handle adversity because you know it's a great time to evaluate. I told them some through it. I said, hey, take a look around. Not necessarily your teammates, but the whole thing. You, you get a real real great time to evaluate right now because you get a feel for what's real and what's not when things get tough. Given the schedule that he's been on, is it nice to see after all the time off, Kim can come in and deliver? You know, it was a big hit. You know, they were pounding him in, and he cheated a little bit on there and threw one down there because they were way over in the gap. And um, John got a good break and good read. But, uh, you know, Kimmy's a guy that, you know, everybody pulls for. I mean, he's a good teammate. He, he doesn't complain. You know, I think if you really think through, I do about all the – I don't know, pressure. You know, guys come over like that. You know, that country's wanting them to do well and for the next guy coming, and he has. And I'm sure that he 
gets asked a lot about not playing as much, and I'm sure it's a hot topic, and we, we're not probably even aware of it, what some of the stuff he probably deals with after games and before games. So I try to keep that in mind, but he, you know, he's, you know, culturally he's he's into the competition and being ready. He's a professional. Buck, I think Bradley had only been caught stealing two or three times in his career out of 27. How impressive was Caleb? Well, you know, it's a little thing. There's, there's so many parts of it. Like, little things happen in a game. I wish I'd just keep up with them sometime and write them down. That, like, Kim not getting picked off, uh, doubled off on the line drive. You know, we talk about in the spring. I'll get back to other that. You can get back. The only ball you should be doubled off on is the ball to first base when you're taking your secondary lead, if you know where the shortstop is and if, and as, as you take your lead, which allowed us to turn the batting over, order around and lead off the next thing at the top of the order. And it didn't score a run, mm -hmm. little things like that. But, you know, Michael, when we first got him, Michael's 1-5, one, 1-6 one, the plate. Michael's 1-2 the plate. And Kate will be the first to tell you that, you know, Michael's worked hard at holding runners. You know, we told him being a shortstop, and quick feet and, and your arm getting up quickly, that shouldn't be an issue for you if you're willing to work on it. He has.